the good turn of the worst. So I'm on page 95 and we're talking about Laurel's story of her world, the door that she opened, the world that she went to. She went to a majestic spider world. In what hell of a universe is a spider universe majestic? I don't see it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Hey guys, it's Tuesday, day two of Booktubeathon. I apologize immensely for the lack of footage for day one. It's just I decided to do my updates downstairs in the living room, and I thought maybe if I position the camera a certain way, you won't hear the beeping sound, but that didn't work out, and all the footage has this annoying beep sound that I am not going to torture you guys with. So I'm just gonna do a little rundown as to what happened. All I filmed on Monday was the updates for the books that I finished and I did a little montage that you guys saw in the beginning. I finished two books. I finished Hush Little Baby by Caroline B. Cooney and Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire. Every Heart a Doorway completed the read a book with green on the cover and Hush Little Baby was the coin toss so that's two books. The book I'm currently reading right now is 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. This book knocks off the read a book about what you want to do and though this is about dimensional travel i'm going with you know in general i want to travel to other places i arranged it to my advantage hey guys so it is wednesday 12 10. i am reading Ten Thousand skies above you by claudia gray i am currently on page 84. this is a reread for me and this book knocks off the challenge of read a book about something you want to do so tuesday because i'm wrapping up tuesday day two of booktubeathon i only read up until like page 84 of that book so i haven't read much at all it's just i got sucked into watching movies all day so far i've watched barefoot I've watched The Ugly Truth, which is one I watched a long time ago, but I wanted to rewatch. I also watched The Proposal. Now I'm watching Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Let me just tell you the only reason why I'm watching it, because Amy Pond is in this movie. Yes, I know that's not her real name, but she will always be Amy Pond to me. It's actually getting really late and I should be going to sleep soon because adulting tomorrow or later on today, but I just can't. I can't fall asleep. I'm like so wide awake. I feel like I'm gonna have another one of those days where I'm not gonna fall asleep. So that is all the update for right now and I'll see you guys on day three, which is today, but later on in the day. Hey guys, so I'm currently 180 pages into 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. I was reading that for a while, but then I had some lunch and I decided I wanna change things up a bit today. So I'm gonna do the read a book wearing a hat challenge. And this is the hat I chose. It's my Peter Pan hat beanie that came in an owl crate box. I can't remember which month it was. And the book I chose to read for this one is Monstrous by Majri Lu. And this is volume one, The Awakening. So I'm really excited to start this. It's a little bit thicker than Saga, so it will take me more than an hour to finish it. I'm gonna take you along to the living room because that's where it's the coolest because of the air conditioning. I know I said I wasn't gonna film downstairs because of the beeping, but I decided to actually do reading montages because with reading montages, I take the audio out and I put music in the background so I figured that be okay to do oh also my bookcases are a disaster because I did the book domino challenge so yeah that is all so let's go and read now Thursday and it's about three maybe already 
gonna be for. I have finished Monstress. This was the read a book wearing the same hat. I know yesterday I didn't update you guys on it but I just stopped reading after I got halfway to it. I stopped reading and then I just watched more movies <laughs> so that was my day yesterday. I go to work at 9 p.m. I'm doing floor sit so that's why I'm going in really late. My thoughts on this, I guess I could see the similarities between Saga but it's uh, uh. This was not my graphic novel. I did not enjoy it at all. It seemed to drag on way too much. I had gotten volume 1 and volume 2 from the library. I was like, just in case I like volume 1, I can just go straight to volume 2. I listened to the, a little bit of 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray, the audiobook. And I got to chapter 14. I'm 297 pages, almost halfway, a little bit, like a few more pages and then I'm halfway done with that book. What I did this morning besides finishing up Monstrous was I went to the gas station, I went to the grocery store, you know, all that fun adulting stuff that I do because I'm an adult now. I have a few hours before I have to go to work, so I have a few hours to read. So far my booktubeathon is that going as I expected. We're on day four and I expected myself to finish for at least five books by now, but that's not that's not happening. Also, Newt's started yesterday, which I forgot to mention on my update yesterday. Every time there's a readathon, I always start to get into like this reading slump. I don't know why. Any other day, it's normal when I'm reading. I'm like reading so much, I enjoy it. And then it's like, bam, booktubeathon starts. It's like, I don't want to read. So it's, I don't know why, why that happens to me most of the time. My plans is to finish this book today, whether I read it physically or listen to it via audiobook. This is a reread, so I'm getting through it more quickly this time around. After I finish that book, I'm actually going to pick up Twilight because that is also part of my newts slash booktubeathon reads. I finished three challenges for booktubeathon and I'm so happy. And then this one will finish the fourth challenge. So I'm just going to start reading this and then I'll check up with you guys later. Hey guys, it is Friday, like one in the morning, I think. I'm not sure. I just got off work and I just want to wrap up for what I read on Thursday. Yesterday, I finished Monstrous. I did not like it at all. I'm not gonna continue on with the graphic novels. After finishing Monstrous, I took a break from reading. I cooked, I watched some Netflix, some movies, and then afterwards, I just went to town. I'm at chapter 27 of 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. As you guys can tell, almost done with it. So yeah, I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys and I'll see you in the morning. So I wasn't going to update you guys anymore. I was like, I'm just gonna do it in the morning, but I was like, the camera's right there, the book is right here, might as well do it. So I have finished 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. The first time I read it, this ending, blew my mind. I was not expecting that to happen and I was just like oh! reading it this time around knowing how it ended I wasn't caught off guard. I wasn't like OMG that was such an epic moment. I am so ready to say goodbye to these characters to say goodbye to the story. I think it is time to finish this series. Now that I finished that the next book I chose to pick up is Twilight which is read a book and then watch the movie adaptation to it so I'm gonna do that. I'm excited to reread it and see my thoughts on it now that I'm an adult. Now that I've done that I'm actually gonna head off to sleep because I am a little tired and I'm going to take advantage of it and see if I can fall asleep. Hey guys, so before I get into the before I get into my booktubeathon update, um, I got the biggest scare of my life. I went to get the mail. When I got back and I opened the door, my mom was behind the door and she screamed and I screamed and I fell on the ground. You know that Ellen episode where she scares Taylor Swift. That's exactly what happened just now. After the fact, I was like, mom, you should have videotaped that for my vlog. And she's like, I'm sorry. It didn't occur to me at the time. I just wanted to scare you. Now to the update. I am sorry I didn't update you guys yesterday. I was so into The Office. I don't know what's going on. Like I watched the first episode of The Office and I was like, this is annoying. How can this be a good show? And then I watched episode two. Next thing I know, I'm almost done with season two. Update for day six. I'm currently on page 
152 of Twilight. Twilight, reading it as an adult, I've realized how problematic it is. And also that I used to think this was the best love story that happened to mankind. Now I realize that it's just a story about two people who are obsessed with each other. Bella even says it. I didn't annotate the part because I'm like just trying to read it, like get through it fast enough. And also I've heard rumors that Fifty Shades of Grey was a fan fiction novel of Twilight. So I kind of see the resemblance now. My brother and my sister-in-law, they are going to have a date night and I'll be taking care of the babies for a few hours while they're at their date night and I'll be taking my book. So once the babies are in their bed sleeping, I'll be reading Twilight. One thing I forgot about Twilight though is that the chapters are so long. I hate them. Hey guys, so it is Sunday, day seven of Booktubeathon, and it is about 5.20. I have just finished Twilight. I'm laughing because I knew I wasn't gonna like it this time around. It's been about five, maybe six years since I've read Twilight. I don't understand it. I don't understand how that could have been a love story. Like I try to think about it so hard and I try to imagine myself as a 14, 15 year old girl trying to remember what it was that I loved so much that made me believe that this was the best love story in the world. And I, I can't, I can't find any reason around that. And it's just like, why? It was definitely problematic in a lot of ways. Edward had anger issues. He was controlling. He was a stalker. He was obsessed with Bella and then Bella liked that Edward was stalking her, liked that Edward would go into her house unannounced and watch her sleep. She thought that was adorable, which clearly that is not adorable at all. That's very frightening. And she enjoyed that Edward would make all the decisions for her. As I said, it's like about 5.20 p.m. and I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish another book. I will clearly try to, but I will update you guys before midnight to let you know if I finished a book or not, which I highly doubt I will finish a book. My book to bathon, I want to say was successful. I read five books, which is really good for me. As much as I want to finish another book, I think I'm going to take an hour or two of a break from reading and watch some of The Office, which I'm totally obsessed with. I'm currently on season three and finished watching, well finished re-watching the episode with the bat in the office because I'm enjoying how Jim is pretending to become a vampire in front of Dwight. It is just the most hilarious seen it ever and I just felt like very ironic I was reading Twilight and then suddenly there's a vampire episode on the office so that's probably not the Greatest definition of irony, but I'm gonna take it. My battery is gonna die soon, so I'm going to continue watching The Office. So it's currently 11.30. I finished five and a half books for Booktubeathon. I will be doing a proper wrap up, but for right now, I just wanna let you guys know that Sunday was a success because I finished one book. So all I wanna let you guys know to wrap up my reading vlog for this week. I had so much fun in Booktubeathon. I know there's a, a day where I did not vlog at all. It was just a weird day for me that day. I, I wasn't feeling well. Five and a half books is great. I feel accomplished for that. That is all for this week's vlog and I'm gonna go back to watching The Office with snacks. And I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye!